Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Monday, the 10th of April, 2023. You're welcome to the Resurrection Morning. The Resurrection Monday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for your wondrous works, for dying for us, for all that you did on the cross of Calvary. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And I will pray that as we learn at your feet today, that you will come and speak to us in the name of Jesus. The word of God said as Jesus Christ was teaching, that the power of God was released to deliver. Father, we pray that as your word comes forth today, that your word will deliver in the name of Jesus. That your word will permeate every life, O Lord. Transform lives, O Lord, and perfect all that concerns us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today's topic is the seasons of Christ. The seasons of Christ. Praise the Lord. And our memory verse from today's topic is taken from the book of Matthew 28, verse 6. Matthew 28, verse 6. He is not here for his reason. And as he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. One more time. He is not here for his reason as he said come see the place where the lord lay hallelujah our, mem- our bible reading is taken from the same matthew 28 verse 1 to 7 after the sabbath had done on the first day of the week mary magdalene and the other mary went to look at the tomb there was violent earthquake for an angel for an angel of the lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Just as he said, Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. Between every two days in a man's life, there is always a night. Even Jesus Christ experienced his own share of days and nights. Jesus' first day came when he was born. Luke 2, 8 to 14 says, Even the heavenly mass choir paid a visit to the world to sing at his birth. Everyone, including the king, knew that a special child had been born. As Jesus grew up, he enjoyed tremendous support from God and performed several great miracles. His first day lasted for 33 and a half years. After Jesus' first day came, the night when he was after Jesus first day came came the night when he was crucified after first Jesus after first Jesus day came the night when he was crucified Matthew 27 there was darkness at noon as the sun refused to shine that day Matthew 15 verse 33 he was lonely as if all his friends had forsaken him his very close friend even denied him. Matthew 26, 69 to 74. There was also sorrow and fear amongst his disciples. John 20, verse 19. Thank God the night lasted for just three days. If you are in a period of night now, that night will end today in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 1 to 7. Mark the beginning of Jesus' second day. Several things happened to Herod in the new day. First was a great earthquake to signify to the whole world that a new day had come. Then an angel came down, rolled away the stone to his tomb, and sat on it. He sat on it to say, this time around, we have permanent victory. From today onward, every door that God opens to you will never be shut again in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 28 verse 4 says that the keepers became paralyzed by fear. They were so frightened. They fell down as dead. This is good news for you because 
now that you are in the season of your Savior's day, when your enemies see you coming, it is either they run or they faint. Jesus said is one that will last forever. Hallelujah. Soon he will come to take his children so we can reign with him in glory. If you are amongst his children, congratulations. But if you are still committing sin, then you are crucifying Jesus Christ afresh. Hebrews 6 verse 6, so you will be treated like one of those who crucified him. If you are wise, you will give your life to him now and stay away from sin forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is the season of our Lord Jesus Christ. The seasons of Christ. And just like we, we also have seasons, which is day and night, our Lord Jesus Christ also has season. And that's what we've been made to understand. And, I also, and those, these seasons are usually day and night. And like her daddy has explained it explicitly through the help of the Holy Spirit, that Jesus Christ also is, uh, experienced his own fair share of day and night. During his day, when Jesus Christ was born, the angels like were made to understand that the mass choirs of heaven, they paid the earth a visit. They were singing praises unto the name of our Lord. Jesus Christ experienced his morning. Even the king and a lot of people, everyone knew that indeed a special child has been born. And another thing that he experienced during his first day was that he enjoyed tremendous support from God because he performed great signs and wonders. And this season lasted for 33 and a half years according to the word of God. Then after that was his night. Jesus Christ experienced night. And you know, for adventure, you are also experiencing your own night now. You should know that you are not alone, that Jesus Christ also had his own fair share of night. The night lasted for three years, three days, but it was like eternity. He went through a whole lot. He was forsaken. During that night, his people, his close people that were supposed to be his friends, they denied him. Even the apostles, they were afraid, they were scared, you know, and they ran for those three days. In that three days, it was also recorded that there was darkness on the earth. During his morning, the angels sang, but in the night, there was darkness on the earth. The moon and the sun, they refused to shine. So he was lonely, he was beaten. The word of God also recorded that his clothes were taken from him. So he was kept, he was, he was in shame. He was carrying that cross. They were shouting, crucify him. Everyone in the community, they were all against him. They wanted him dead. And, in, and they, they achieved their aim. You can imagine for a whole God himself to be beaten and he humbled himself. Praise the Lord. But what happened at the end of the day? After that also came money. Hallelujah. After that also came money. That is recorded according to the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord. After that night came morning. Like it from the Bible reading that we read today. He said he is not here. He had risen just as he said. Come and see where he lay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that marked the beginning of the second day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our adventure, you are going through so much right now. You know, our adventure, you are going through a lot in your marriage. It could be your marriage that is suffering. It could be your job. It could be that, you know, a lot of people are also against you. It could be that your friends have deserted you. The people you used to know to be your closest friend, they have betrayed you. Maybe there's so much going on in your life right now. Maybe you are feeling like throwing in the tower. You know, I, I, I listened to the story of Pastor Bolaji yesterday. And he said before he started that the online prayer that he, he does. That prior to that time, he was betrayed his closest friend and everything. You know, he was going through a lot. That he was even, you know, he was thinking there was so much going on in him. That he was, it was almost even suicidal. Maybe for you, it's, it's similar to that. Maybe what you are going through your own night. But I want, I have a good news for you. That that night is not permanent. Yes, the, 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 you know, the way you are feeling can be valid. It is, yes, but for a truth, a lot of people are against you. For a truth, you are, maybe you are sick. You are down with sicknesses. You are down with so many things. And it is looking as if 
you, you feel like throwing in the towel, that it, is it only you? Maybe when you take a step forward, you know, to, to getting close to your solution, it is looking like five steps backwards. But peradventure, you have been in that night for too long and you are weak and you are saying, no, I can't do this again. But I have a good news for you, that joy comes in the morning. Trouble may last for a night. The trouble of Jesus Christ indeed lasted for that three nights. But joy came in the morning because he rose again. And the good news is that you and I, provided you are a child of God, you were crucified with him. All those sicknesses, the fear, the you know, the fear of your job, the troubles that you are going through, that stagnation, that sickness, everything that you may be going through one way or the other. They were dead. They were crucified together with Christ. He said, I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. The life that I live now, I live in faith of the Son of God who died and gave his life for me. So when he died, when he rose, that was the, the new day. And it is also a new day for you and I because you were crucified, not just you. Everything that represented night in your life was crucified with him. And when you, you the life that you are living now, is the life of day in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was recorded that when the keepers, those people, the keepers of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he said they saw the angel, what happened? They were frightened. They were frightened and they fell down as though they were dead. Just like our daddy in the Lord has prayed. I am praying for you also that your enemies will be frightened and they will be paralyzed. They will flee. Those that are watching your progress, that are looking at it that, oh, where is it going? What is going to be the solution to your life, to that, your problem? Or those that are afflicting you without a problem, they are, they are going to be paralyzed because your money has come. They will see your money and they will paralyze. They will, you know, they will freeze as though they are dead. If they will not run, some will not be able to run because they will be too afraid. And they will be frozen as though they were dead in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The good news is that in the season of the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is also your season. It is also my season. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Romans 5, in Romans 5 verse 3 to 5, I like the amplifying version. It says, and not only this, but let us exhort in our suffering. In that night, exhort the Lord in your night. Naomi went through the night. If you look at it in the book of Ruth, in that Ruth, verse, Ruth 1 verse 21, what did she say? She said nobody should call her Naomi because that she is called Mara. She, that means bitterness. That she went in full and she came back empty. She said, why call me Naomi? That the Lord has afflicted her you know, with misfortune. But little did she know, she was going through the night, but joy will come in the morning. When you look at that, the book of Ruth, verse 4, when her morning came, in that 16 to 17, they said, and Naomi took the child, when she beheld the child of, of Ruth, little did she know that she even came back better off. You know, if those things did not happen to her life, we wouldn't have known who Naomi was. Right now, for the, Naomi didn't know that she was making a great history. And a great history, she said, and Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became a nurse on it. And the women and neighbors that she had told that they should, they should not call her Naomi, gave it a name saying, there is a son born to Naomi. And if you look at it, this particular son, Obed, he was, he was the son, you know, his generation is the generation of till you know he was the great 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 grandfather of our lord jesus christ praise the lord the morning of naomi came and she beheld the child your morning is coming your daytime is coming and the good news is that the daytime has come the word of god says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free because the day we are living in the daytime of our lord jesus christ and because for you and i the night died, the night ended when 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 the, the, our Lord Jesus Christ's night on earth ended and our day has come that night of sickness no matter what it is that you are feeling don't allow the devil to take advantage of you no matter what it is because
because you know the truth. Your night has ended and your day has come. That sickness is over. That tribulation, that, that trouble in your marriage is over. That trouble in your job is over. That stagnation is over because your joy has come. Your morning has come and it is permanent. It's a permanent victory because the, the stone was rolled and the angel of the Lord sat on the on, on that on, on that stone. Like Adadi has said, he said it represents a permanent victory. Praise the Lord. So your victory is permanent in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Congratulations for you to you and I because our victory is permanent. Why, why do we know that our victory is also permanent? When the morning of Jesus, when he died, he said it is finished because the night is finished. That sentence has been fully paid for. Maybe per adventure you have, your, your, they have told you that your, why you are having this issue is because your great great grandfather committed one sin. Or maybe there is a covenant and everything. But Jesus Christ paid it all through his blood. The debt has been fully paid and the battle has been won. The battle over sickness, over issues of your life has been fully won by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he said it is finished. And Jesus already fought the battle. And what happened? For you and I, we are enjoying victory. It is the day of victory. It is the day of no more sorrow. It is the day of no more battles. It is the day of perpetual victory for you and I in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And provided, and another thing that we are made to understand, that he will come to take his children. So we will reign with him in glory. And if you are his child, congratulations. But if you are still wallowing in sin, you are still committing sin, you should know that what you are doing is that you are, you are nailing our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross again. Not only that, and you are subjecting him to public disgrace. Imagine your, your eyes is open and you can see what happened that several thousand years ago when Jesus was new. You can tell for free that as many that contributed to his death and resurrection, that they would dearly pay. For you and I, we will not pay for it in the name of Jesus. So that you will not pay for it. Why don't you Why don't you give up that sin? Why don't you run to the Lord Jesus and say, Lord Jesus Christ, I have known the truth. I have heard the truth that you are the only one that can give me money. That you are the only one that can give me the day. That every night I'm going through, provided I accept you as my Lord Jesus Christ, that my night too, you have paid for it fully. And the day has come. Father, come into my life. Make my home your abode. And give me a new beginning. That I will enjoy this day that is full of victory. Permanent victory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have said this prayer, I say congratulations to you. Why don't you just go to a Bible-believing church. Learn of him. In this new faith, in this new money, the devil will not take advantage of you again. You have known the truth. The truth will set you free. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For we, for the wise ones, thank God for you that you gave your life to Christ. And for as many of us that are in faith, I pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the devil will not take advantage of us. That we will continually, perpetually live in the day in Jesus' name. Victory is ours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The key point says, Jesus' resurrection means good news to his friends. And bad news to sinners. Which category are you? We thank God for as many that has given their life to Christ. They are in the category of Christ. And our day has come. The end has come to the night. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.